Hi, I'm Carl Donnelly, International Sales Manager for Telestack. Today, we're going to be looking at the TB42 all-wheel travel ship loader. This is one of the most innovative, most mobile and unique systems globally. No one else in the world can design, manufacture ship loading systems like this. Within this video, we're going to review three distinct features of this ship loader. This includes the mobility of the unit, the environmental features of the unit, and the electrical and operational features. Okay, some of the key features of what we're going to look at today is the mobility. The mobility of Telestack shiploaders is synonymous with our designs. This is all we focus on, mobile, mobile, mobile. A key part of this, as you can see beside me, is the all-wheel travel system. You can see it's a very heavy-duty design uh, with integrated slew bearings, integrated hydraulic system for easy slewing, easy mobility, throughout the loading system. One of the key features of this mobile ship loader is the innovative high-rise design. The key point of this design is to allow this mobile ship loader to operate on very narrow docks and jetties. This particular ship loader will operate on a dock of a width of about 25 meters around 80 foot and allow you to load vessels up to Panamax size with up to a 12 meter, 36 foot freeboard height. This is a very innovative design and ensures you have a mo mobile ship loader able to operate on a very narrow jetty. As with these mobile ship loaders, there's different modes that this unit will actually operate in. Some of the modes you see now is like a steering position, so it gives a full mobility and allows it to move around this central slew bearing. The other positions this allows for is a radial movement, which the ship loader can move left and right. The other movement is parallel travel, which allows the unit to move perpendicular to the jetty and move from hold to hold as efficiently and as effectively as possible. Also, things to consider during loading, the position of these wheels along with the jack down radial plinth allows you to adequately trim the hold while you're loading. Time is money when we're loading vessels and this mobile ship loader is designed to minimize that as much as possible. Some of the environmental features that we've installed on this unit. As we know, in a modern world, with modern environmental regulations, which are getting more stricter on every port, we've tried to minimize this and eliminate this as much as possible in this unit. This has become a misconception on mobile shiploaders that dust and spillage and the environmental is not a concern or can, cannot be designed out of the system. In this unit, we beg to differ. One of the key features of this unit, as you'll see when loading into the hold, is the telescopic discharge chute. As you can see, this is a fully galvanized, telescoping up and down chute, which allows the material to be discharged into the hold at the very base of the hold itself. This minimizes any dust generation, and any agitation of the material. These chutes come in various size and, and ranges depending on the specific material. This particular chute is what we call a tele chute design, which is a free fall system, which the material can basically free fall from the discharge point down into the vessel. Other designs include a cascade design, which is specifically to minimize the flow of material, aka minimize the dust generation of this type of chute. Other options include 360 degree radial trimmer chutes to allow you to adequately trim the hold when it's in position. These are all options which are readily available and are specific to your material. As Telestack, we understand the need for easy access and easy maintenance. These units do not maintain themselves. They take a team of people, as same as any other equipment that they will be maintaining. As part of that, as you can see on this shiploader behind me, we've integrated easy access and maintenance with galvanized walkways, with adequate guarding to meet the local regulations. All what we expect from a modern, efficient, and unique shiploading system. 
A key part of this ship loader is the integrated IP66 rated electrical control panel. As you can see behind me, this is a fully customized unit specifically for this mobile ship loader. This incorporates a multitude of easy operational features, including robust touch button system for easy access. Also, which shows every, all the features and benefits for operation, for maintenance, for fault finding on a very easy, well laid out touchscreen system. This remote control is critical when you're actually loading the vessel. As we know, every vessel is different, every captain is different, but the flexibility with this radio remote control, along with obviously the telescopic and radial features synonymous with telestack ship loaders, are all critical for the easy operation, efficient loading, and ensures a through the vessel loading rate is maintained throughout. Another one of the electrical features on this unit is the integrated belt weighing system. This belt scale is mounted to the current conveyor belt and it accurately calculates the amount of material going over the belt per second, per minute, per hour, and gives an accurate loading back to this central control panel. There's other options to have this controlled via Wi-Fi and via USB system, so you have a full record and history of the loading through the system. This also will help the actual draft surveys during loading. So as you're loading the vessel, you know accurately what material is actually in each hold. A key question on any of these mobile ship loaders is how is it powered? Here at Telestack, the most common type is an integrated mobile generator. This generator powers all of the functions of the ship loader, whether it be mobility, operational, conveyor belts, telechute, everything is controlled and powered by this integrated generating system. We know that a lot of ports, and it's very important that they have shore power, and they have electrical power on the jetty that they can use. As part of this design, this allows the operator to actually use a generator if they need to for mobility and operation. However, another option is that they can actually use their shore power and plug the system in. This is done by a simple changeover switch which allows you to change from generator power to shore power. Again, minimizing the cost of the operation, minimizing your diesel consumption for this unit, and minimizing your cost per tonne. As you can see, we're at the Telestack factory here in Northern Ireland. The mobile ship loader behind me is fully built, operational, tested electrically, hydraulically, mechanically before dispatch. This is very, very important to our business model. This ensures that as these units are going globally and packed in 40 foot containers, that when they arrive on site, they are easy for the operator to build, they have no issues, no problems, because it's already done in the factory before it dispatches. This takes extra time and effort from Telestack's part to do this in the factory, but we understand the importance of getting the units there in time, obviously, but be sure that they're done correctly and installed and operated as quickly as possible. As all of these units, these are shipping globally. This particular unit will ship in 40 foot hay cube containers directly to site. This ensures that the transport cost is minimized and we have a very rapid deployment system. So typical lead times on this type of system can run from five to nine months to plan on complexity. This is critical for any customers looking for a system fully operational in a relatively short lead time. So this particular mobile ship loader is fed by two mobile truck and loading units. Again, as you can see with the high raised design, this is meant to, to work on a very narrow jetty, anywhere from 25 meters, 80 foot and below. But to get access to this unit and to get material to this unit, this is typically through trucks or overland conveyor system or wheel loaders, but this particular system is via trucks. As you can see, the large hexagonal feed boot on the end of the ship loader to allow the feed in to be done by two separate units. The truck and loaders, also mobile and all-wheel travel, will form an integral part of this fully enclosed, fully mobile ship loading system. Thank you for taking the time to listen and watch this video today. Please make contact with Telestack for more details.